is one of the first events that signals the Kentucky Derby Festival countdown is on. This week, the 2023 Derby Festival princesses were officially announced and the Royal Court is here, right here in the Great Day Live studio. And this is gonna be a little bit different today. You know, we're gonna to get to know so much more about them that you've never heard of before. And, and for many people that have grown up in the Louisville area, you know, you see them out at every single event. They act as ambassadors for the community. They attend over 70 Derby Festival events in the run up to the 149th Kentucky Derby. And rather just say, here they are, we decided to sit down with each of them and get to know them uh, where they go to school and what they're majoring in. So here is a special Great Day Live. And right now you are going to meet our first Derby Festival princess, Haley Benson. Come on up, Haley. Hi. Hey. Haley, it is so nice to meet you. Good morning. So I'm going to brag about each of you right today, right? I'm going to feel like your mom. I'm going to be like, oh, no. Yeah. So you are a 21-year-old junior from the University of Louisville. Yes, ma'am. Biology major. Yes. Woodford R. Porter and Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation Scholar. Chemistry Learning Assistant at UofL's Resources for Academic Achievement. I mean, obviously with your achievements, it sounds like you are really headed for a STEM path. And that is, that's so important for mm -hmm. women to be involved in. Why did you choose this path? Well, I'm a Louisville native, so I've been in a mathematics, science, and technology program my entire academia life. At an early age, my parents always liked having me involved, so I started doing medical programs around the age of 14. So I was always deciding if I wanted to become a doctor or a nurse, and I felt being a doctor was the best fit for me, and I'm interested in obstetrics and gynecology. So that just really pushes me to do well in my STEM courses. Right, you know, my question for everybody later is how in the world do you balance all that? But that's oh, another segment, yes. oh my goodness. Also wanna recognize you for your or Woodford R. Porter and Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation Scholar. Yes. What is that and why has that been important for you? So a Woodford R. Porter Scholar is um, basically a scholarship for achieving African-American students around Kentucky and um, it's basically just really important because the achievement of African Americans in Kentucky to get scholarship monies to attend U of L, and then Lewis Stokes for Alliance Minority Participation is a, essentially the same thing, but just wanting to have more people of color in the STEM fields, as that is very important to see that representation. It is so important, Haley. A pleasure to meet you, Thank Haley you. Benson. Thank everybody, you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Next up, we are going to get to know Lauren Carter. She is from Lexington. Hey, Lauren. Doing great. Again, another, everybody's resume is so impressive. You're yes. a 22 year old junior from the University of Kentucky Lewis Honors College. Yes. Double majoring in management and marketing on a pre-law track, involved in Best Buddies, founder of Stop Throwing Stones, a kindness movement. Yes. I wanna start there. Okay. Why was it important for you um, to start this organization? What's behind it? Well, I really, see the importance in spreading kindness. I think that's important because you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. And mental health is so important nowadays that it's important to spread kindness. So with Stop Throwing Stones, we write positive notes of encouragement on stones and spread them out throughout the state of Kentucky to uh, spread it kindness. Right, little things mean so much. Yes. Just that little note, I yes. love that. Uh, you're double majoring. Whew. Yes. Lauren, when do you have time? Double majoring <laughs> in management and marketing on a pre-law track. Yes. So I bet this scholarship money, which we're going to talk about uh, that they get as well, really is kind of helping you because you're, you're still deciding kind of what direction you want to go in. Here. Yes, I, it is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Any scholarship money goes a long way. So like you said, I am majoring in management and marketing on the pre-law track. Right now I'm applying to MBA programs and masters. And in the future, I would like to attend law school and become a lawyer for nonprofits. Love it. Lauren, thank yes. you. Thank you so much, Thank you Lauren so much. Carter, everybody. Next up, you're going to get to meet Mashad Tahari. She is from Louisville. Hello, Mashad. Hi. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. We are excited to get to know you. I'm you are a 21-year-old senior from the University of Louisville, a finance major, mm -hmm. a Joan Shepep Lewis Stokes Alliance Minority Participation Scholar, the founder of Manasa, a volunteer with Kentucky Refugee Ministries, 
And you work for the administrative office of the campus for housing development over at U of L. You know, uh, as a volunteer for Kentucky Refugee Ministries, why was it important for you to volunteer your time with them? Yes, exactly. So, you know, I moved to the States at 13 and um, for anyone who has immigrated even like from states to states, they know the hardships and just how hard it is to kind of get used to somewhere new, especially if you're from a different country, um, especially for refugees. So I thought that, you know, since having that background, um, sharing some of the experiences that I could relate to, um, I volunteer my time with them to um, help high school students. So I work with um, two really sweet girls who also share my language and um, you know work uh, with like homeworks and just applying for college and things like that. You've been there and you know yes. how to help them. Yes. You're also the founder of Manasa. What is that? Yes, so Manasa stands for Middle Eastern North African Student Association. And I'm so excited for this because uh, as being a part of MENA community, you know, University of Louisville does a great job uh, with diversity and like uh, belonging. Okay. So uh, just to, you know, have that kind of community that wasn't that organization that wasn't a part of Louisville um, to start that. It's still relatively new, um, but to have a community for us to um, share and exchange cultures and, you know, um, show the rest of the university what uh, the cultures and uh, talk about the different countries and what goes on in the countries. Um, I'm really excited. You're just, you're just the sharing events. the information and you're letting yes. us all know and yes. that's part of it is yes. communicating. Exactly. Well, Mashad, thank you so much. Thank Mashad you. Tahari, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we are going to get to know Mallory Hudson. Hey, Mallory. Hello, hello. hello. Thanks so much for having Welcome. us today. Great day thank live. you. Thank Bowling you. Green native. Yes, I am. 21 year old junior at the University of Kentucky, communications major, political science minor, reigning Miss Bowling Green. You're headed to the Miss Kentucky America am, too after this. Uh, founder of Inclusive Stages, uh, which is a theatrical experience for those with special needs. Let's start there. Why was it important for you um, to, to put this together and provide theatrical services for those uh, that maybe can't enjoy it like everybody else? Yes, so Shakespeare said all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. And, and I really do think that the arts are inherently inclusive and they're for everyone, right? So babies sing as soon as they can talk, they dance as soon as they can walk. And, and I really do think that, that giving a spotlight to individuals who may not have that spotlight all the time is so, so, so important to me. We think of enjoying the theater and performances, but we have to think, how do we make it inclusive for everybody Absolutely. to enjoy that? Well, this major looks super com like familiar to me. <laughs> love it, not yes. that, you know, but what are you hoping to do with your career? Absolutely, so I would love to attend law school upon my graduation from the University of Kentucky to potentially study to be a disabilities rights attorney due to the work that I've done with mm. Inclusive Stages. All right, Mallory, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mallory <laughs> Hudson. Next up, we're going to get to meet and know a little bit more about Valerie Tran. Hi, Hi Valerie. Good morning. Good morning, Valerie. You're from Louisville. You're a 22-year-old senior at the University of Louisville, industrial engineering major, executive director of Raise Red Dance Marathon, a Voight Scholar, volunteer of the year by UofL, at UofL, and a young philanthropist of the year as well by AFP. Um, let's talk about executive director of Raise Red Dance Marathon. Why was it important for you to be involved with that particular campaign? How's yes. that close to your heart? So Raise Red Dance Marathon is an 18-hour dance marathon at the University of Louisville, and you're probably like, Oh my gosh, do you guys dance for 18 right. hours? Right, do you dance for 18 hours? Yes. What? what? <laughs> so it is a year-long um, initiative. We are a fundraising organization. We're one of the largest student-run organizations on campus, actually, and we raise funds and awareness for pediatric cancer and blood diseases. And um, it really spoke to me because I'm a firm believer of serving underrepresented um, communities, and a lot of the cancer research um, here in Kentucky is funded for adult cancer yeah. and not a lot of it goes to pediatric cancer. So it spoke to me my freshman year and I was a dancer at first and then I worked my way up the steps <laughs> um, and so now I'm with the executive director. And volunteerism is really at the heart of, of your resume here. I mean volunteer of the year. I mean this is you've got some really impressive achievements. Why is volunteerism so so core to who you are and who instilled that in you? Right, so um, I just remember 
This is one of my core memories growing up. So I volunteered a lot with my church um, starting at a young age. And I just remember doing like food drives for the yeah. homeless. And we were packing, as we were packing the food, my aunt looked at me and she was like, do you see them? And I was like, yes. And she's like, do you really see them? They're smiling. Mm -hmm. And so everything that I do with volunteer work, I always just kind of remember that. like. That, that's what makes me happy is to see someone else smile and if I'm in a position where I can give back, I always do. Well, Valerie, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, so you much. To, to everybody here, Haley, Lauren, Mashad, Mallory, and Valerie. See, I told you all, <laughs> incredibly impressive as well. So stay with us because we are coming back with the Derby Festival Princesses and we're gonna find out a little bit more about all the events that they get to attend and what they're looking forward to the most. More Great Day Live straight ahead.